This program is brought to you by thepodcastfactory.com. Hi, my name is Eero Kafetz and this is The List Building Lifestyle, the only podcast which delivers cutting-edge conversion strategies from the online trenches straight to your earbuds. Download the transcript of today's episode and all future episodes at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com. I also invite you to grab a free copy of the Wealthy List Builder Survival Guide at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com forward slash survival. And now, once again, it's time to claim your list building lifestyle. Welcome back to another edition of the List Building Lifestyle with your host, Igor K. Fitz. You know, one of the most annoying questions I ever got as a traffic provider, as, a, as, as somebody who runs a traffic agency and who's quote unquote supposed to know uh, how things convert is what's the average conversion? What's the average results for any particular offer? Now, trust me, we get these questions all the time, even today. And the problem I have with these questions is very simple. You see, as somebody who decided to become an entrepreneur and decided to join a business opportunity and then to promote it with a paid traffic source, if you're still clinging to the idea of average conversions, you're simply looking for safety in numbers. And that is a habit that has uh, been rooted within us uh, since we were kids. But the truth of the matter is there is no such thing as average because the average marketer makes less than $100 a month. And that is actually not really true either because, you know, maybe there's uh, around $100 per month that comes in, but there's a lot more money coming out from their pocket at the same time. And so the other, you know, end of that spectrum is, of course, the 4% of the people who make a lot of money. So you have a lot of people on this on the left side making virtually nothing and you have just a little bit just a handful of people on the right side making a lot i'm talking too much right i'm talking so much they can buy a lamborghini and brag about it in their videos that's the kind of money i'm talking about so you got a bunch of people that are making nothing you got a bunch of people and you, and you got a handful of people who are making a lot and you got virtually nobody virtually no one in between so if you try to make an average out of that you should will come up with somewhere in between, but that would not be a true number. And the same is true, by the way, with conversions for offers. There's going to be a handful of people who are always going to convert like crazy and most people who will not convert at all because of their habits, because of the way they approach their marketing, their funnels, their content creation, and so on and so forth. Now, why do people cling to the idea of averages though? How come even when you join a business opportunity, you will always hear about somebody talking about the system converting on average at, at such and such rate throughout you know, the entire thing or across the board from all traffic sources and so on and so forth. And you will see discussions in the support groups and Facebook groups about the average you're supposed to get on Facebook ads and the average you're supposed to get on solo ads and the average you're supposed to get on you know, referral traffic and so on and so forth. Well, the reason for that is because, like I said, people are looking for that average, that, that safety in numbers. But they're looking for safety in an, a really unpredictable environment, which is what the entrepreneurial journey is all about. You know, when you make the first step towards becoming an entrepreneur, you have to let go of the idea of safety and with it, the idea of averages. The only one place where you can expect an average is an average minimum wage if you apply for a job. This is the only place in our society today where you can literally say, okay, I can predict how much money I'm going to be making. I can predict how many hours I'm going to be working. I can literally work the numbers in order to understand that and, pre and predict what I'm going to make. But the problem with that is, of course, you're not going to make much. And the pro another problem with that is, is somebody else dictates that income or those numbers for you. Therefore, if you choose to become an entrepreneur, if you choose to build your own income streams, either full-time or part-time, this is the world where the same job thinking, you know, same job mentality simply does not apply. You can't be thinking like an employee and expect to run a profitable business. You can't be thinking like an employee and expect to convert like a top earner. You have to let go of what makes you an employee and you have to adapt a whole new set of life rules 
if you are to become a successful business owner, you know, promoting programs and products of your own or promoting affiliate programs and affiliate products that, that pay you a commission. Because this is a totally different world that requires a totally different set of skills, totally different set of habits and totally different set of thinking patterns that, you know, if you don't apply them, you will always struggle. And so the curious part is that, you know, a lot of times I see people jump from one opportunity to the next, or even, you know, they believe that the opportunity is what's going to make that difference for them. And there's always going to be people like that. I mean, no matter what you say, there's always going to be people that have uh, struggled with five different opportunities up until this point, see something new that's launching. So they'll jump on that, believing that that is what's going to change it for them. But the truth of the matter is it will not do anything. They will remain stuck within the same vicious cycle of putting money in business opportunities and hoping that the opportunities average is what's going to save them. But that is not true. If you study all the top earners across all opportunities, and many of them are top earners in several opportunities all at the same time, you know, you will notice that these guys don't even talk about averages. Sure, if you ask them what's their average conversion rate, they'll tell you, but their averages do not mean anything and do not dictate anyone else's averages. And that is what you have to understand if you are to become successful at converting paid traffic. The averages simply don't matter. And the only thing that really matters is finding the person or the people that are converting really well right now and understanding what are they doing in order to convert. It's not about trying to understand their average conversion rate run an ad and if the conversion rate you're getting is not matching up with their average then to try and change the source right of course that might be the solution maybe the source is really bad that happens of course but more often than not it's not the source that's the problem more often than not it's not the opportunity that's your problem more often than not is you're ignoring the actions and the habits on behalf of the top earners that are leading to the creation of those conversions which you simply do not have installed or at use in your own business. Therefore, the whole concept of seeking average conversions and average earnings and average success rates is futile. It's just a useless time waste because you will never be able to build a thriving business on a foundation based on the on expecting the average conversion rate that someone else is getting without truly understanding and analyzing what exactly are they doing to get those conversion rates in the first place. So next time you're facing such a challenge, next time you're trying to find safety in numbers, try to catch yourself and understand that you're trying to justify failure up front. What you're really doing is you're saying, okay, this is what I'm supposed to get. And if I don't get this, then the system is broken and it is not my fault. Okay. Rather than doing that, I urge you, I invite you, and perhaps even I challenge you to take extreme ownership of your numbers. And rather than trying to seek the averages, uh, perhaps you could ask yourself, what am I not doing yet that can improve my conversions by 5 to 10% within the next 30 days? That will be a much better question to ask yourself when you're running traffic that will lead to much better results. Thank you so much for tuning in for another edition of The Lisbon Lifestyle. I'm your host, Igor Kifetz. And until next time we chat, have a good one. Thank you for listening to The List Building Lifestyle. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Google Play to never miss an episode. Because who knows, just one conversion tactic we share on the show might double your list and double your business. Download the transcript of today's episode and all future episodes at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com. And don't forget to claim your complimentary copy of the Wealthy List Builder Survival Guide at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com forward slash survival. This is Igor Kafetz, and until next time we talk, have a good one. This is the podcastfactory.com.